I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Great Plains sod houses for the pioneers. I'm going to take one finger on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line left to right. Then two fingers, put a dot. And now I'm going to draw a big curve line up, down, up, down, and off the page. And now I'm going to put one more two fingers, put a dot, and we're going to kind of mimic this line again. So we're just going to go up, curve line down, up, down, and off the page. Okay. Right here at the very top, on the right hand side, we're going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a flat oval. I come to the left side and draw a curve line up, down, connect. Come inside and put one dot, two dots. Come down to this side, put one dot, two dots. Come on the right hand side, curve line out, and connect. Left hand side, curve line out, and connect. Right up on top, we're going to draw a curve line up, down, connect on the right, curve line up, down, connect on the left. Come down here towards the center, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line up, connect. We're going to draw one curve line down, two curve lines. Right next to this, we're going to draw a curve line up. Come up to this side, we're going to draw a straight line, curve line down, connect. Now we come back over here and we're going to draw another one curve line, two curve lines. Come over here, we're going to draw a curve line down, connect. Right back here, curve line out, down, connect. And right here underneath, we're going to draw a curve line and then little straight lines like that. Come over to this side and we're just going to draw a wavy line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come back to this first part and just put a little curve line, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Okay. Now, on each one of these lines, we're going to do a series of straight lines going all different ways. So we start out and we just do straight lines, little straight lines, keep going, little straight lines, jump over, put a couple here maybe, keep going, and stop. Come to the second line. We're going to draw little straight lines. They can go any way you want. Little straight lines, keep going. Little straight lines all the way to the end. Now on this bottom line, same thing, little straight lines, keep going, little straight lines, keep going, little straight lines to the other side of the page. Okay. Starting on this middle section, we're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, kind of like little rectangles. They can be all different sizes. That's really what you want. All the way across. Little straight lines, little flat rectangles. Keep going, keep going, keep going off the page. Now right about here we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. We're going to mimic that line again. Straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Right here on this side, we're going to do a smaller one. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line connect, and now let's draw it again. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, 
straight line connect. Now this whole entire section needs to be filled with sod bricks, which is what these are up here. So to give ourselves a limitation, I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to draw it. And they don't have to be even. It's better if they're not even because that's the way they were in real life. You just pick a side and you just go straight line, straight line, bring it over, straight line, straight line, come up, straight line. So basically what you're doing is you're filling in this whole entire space with sod. They were sod bricks. Land that had been cut actually from the soil with the plants, that's what these grasses are, still attached, made and fitted together to fill, uh, make their sod houses. And they almost were always either built right into the hill like this one is, or they were built just above a hill because they actually used the earth around them to supply insulation from the heat because it got really hot in the prairies and from the winter cold because it got really freezing cold. So you can see I'm filling these all in and I'm not really concerned about how they look as long as I get that kind of rectangular block coming in and if you Google the sod houses, pioneer sod houses, you will see how they literally built right into the hills they, uh, or dug outs into their uh, properties. And this was all because of the Homestead Act. People could get free land or land as long as they built something. Okay, so here's our sod house into a hill. Here's another hill, and on top of the hill, right by the sod house, is a cow, because that's also what they would do. Come over here, draw a circle, draw me a skinny mini, skinny mini line, connect it, skinny mini line, connect. All right, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color is my sun, and I'm just going to make that yellow. Then the next thing I'm going to color is my sky, and I'm going to make this blue-green. Take your time. You don't want to kill your clouds. You don't want to kill your cow. He's a very important, she's a very important part of this whole setup. So you're going to do way better job than me, as always, but this should all be, I did mine blue-green. You can do it regular blue, any blue, but pretty much a clear blue sky with beautiful white clouds. The prairie is very pretty because of the air and just everything is so clean back in these days especially. Alright, now I'm going to take my black and the first thing I'm going to color are the inside parts of my windows. Now usually they didn't have glass so they would use like a, a covering, like a quilt just to keep the flies out. They usually had dirt floors. So I'm going to color that black and then I'm going to come up and do my hooves on my cow. Okay. Then I'm going to take pink to do the udder. And then I'm going to take an apricot to do my cow. Now you can do your cow any color you want. I made mine a light cow. Don't forget your tail. Okay, now because we're going to double color everything, I'm going to start off with my lightest color and I'm just going to go 
straight lines again over this is grass so first I'm going to start with an apricot the good thing about this you don't have to be careful because everything should melt into each other so this is all going to be grass then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to do some lines for the hills of the same color all the way across okay then because it is a prairie and it does have some green I'm using my yellow green not my green green my yellow green because it was very much of a light green color and all I do is go over all of my little straight lines that we did just to get some color on them keep going and then once I've done that I can lightly loop-de-loop -loop the hills so you got a double color thing happening here on your prairie remember it's grasses okay then I've got my sod house and what I did was is I took my regular brown and I did the outside rims of my window and my door very little trees you'd be hard put to try and find trees that's why they couldn't build them out of wood they made everything out of the sod now the sod I'm going to start with a lighter brown and I'm just gonna color over everything because I'm gonna come back over it again with my darker brown now don't forget your little ones up here at the top because these little sod bricks kind of put the whole architecture of the dwelling together okay so once you've got that first coat of lighter brown now you can come in and you can do your darker brown over and yes it's going to take you a while and yes your hand might start hurting so just do as much as you can at one shot and then stop and do the rest later because it really makes your sod house look great don't forget your bricks on the top okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my sod house all colored in for the pioneers this happened these kind of dwellings were in nebraska the dakotas kansas and wyoming okay bye bye